I've heard how great Kenny Omega is. I've seen how great Kenny Omega is. You're the greatest wrestler who's ever lived. You're afraid to take this match. You are not on my level. The reality is I'm just excited to get in the ring and wrestle. I would love for it to be Kenny Omega. I would love for Kenny Omega to be my first match. If he doesn't want to step up, there'll be somebody else. Because everybody else, one of the things that I love about AEW is everybody's hungry. Everybody wants to go in. Everybody wants to prove themselves. I'm here, and I'm game. Let's go. And now we welcome into Sports Nation the newest addition to the AEW roster. He is a former five-time WWE champion, Brian Danielson. Brian, it has really, when you think about it, been quite a wild ride for you. You were really just five years removed from announcing your retirement from pro wrestling. You went back to WWE, did so many big things. And now tonight, you're making your debut on the AEW roster at Grand Slam against the AEW champion, Kenny Omega. So what is going through your mind as you set out to start on this new chapter of your pro wrestling career? Uh, so honestly, I just woke up this morning super excited and, uh, and grateful that you know, my entire journey has led me here. In a lot of ways, this feels like the biggest match of my career. Wow. And just the just the time, the setting, the person that I'm going to be in the ring going against, you know. Uh, and also the, these ideas that I have of I really want these next three years that I'm going to be in AEW. I really want it to be the climax of my career. Like, I want this to be the best version of Brian Danielson possible. So I'm putting a lot of uh, pressure on myself. I know... Uh, you know, some people may say it's putting a lot of stress on yourself, but there's good stress and bad stress. This is you stress. This is not this stress. <laughs> so uh, pretty pumped. That's amazing. Brian, I'd love to dive into the decision to even join AEW. You wrote this fantastic piece for the Players' Tribune that I related to a lot. I worked at WWE. I have absolutely no bitterness towards that company, and neither do you. You wrote this love letter to your time there. But you're still joining AEW, and here you are in a fantastic match. Like you said, one of the biggest matches, if not the biggest of your career, uh, in AEW. So I'd love to hear, like, what is it about your personal decision and what you're noticing from other major successful professional wrestlers deciding to continue their careers in AEW as opposed to, say, returning to WWE or going to another promotion? For me, it was actually a, a really difficult decision, but at the end of the day, it was, uh, there were just so many new people that I wanted to wrestle. In WWE, I had wrestled so many of the same people uh, a lot of times, and I loved wrestling those guys. I could wrestle Cesaro a million times and and be very satisfied with my life. But, uh, but there was all these young talent that are awesome in AEW, but then there's also like the veteran guys or guys that I've wrestled before, like Kenny Omega, who's really turned into one of, if not the best wrestler in the world, you know, in the last five years. So there's all these people that I just like, oh, I can't, I can't stop wrestling without wrestling these guys. <laughs> so, and I think AEW as a company is so exciting from like a, a modernization of wrestling standpoint that it's, uh, that it's been a really fun product to follow. Okay, and you talk about everyone has their different decisions on deciding where they go on with their career. CM Punk, he came on Sports Nation a few weeks ago, talked about his decision to join AEW. Now, you two are really good friends, and you're actually making your debut on AEW just weeks apart from each other. So how much communication did you and CM Punk have, and how much did his decision to go to AEW have on yours? Oh, we, we've had next to zero communication because, uh, as a lot of my friends know, I'm a horrible communicator as far as, like, <laughs> I didn't know about the punk stuff until it happened, right? But that, it seemed very fitting. I actually wrote in my book, which I, which came out in, like, 2015, that I was sad because I always thought there would be, like, this big WrestleMania moment between, like, that I would have a with CM Punk because it just felt like it felt inevitable. It felt like destiny, right? That this, that this would happen. Our journeys were so similar and we've, we both traveled through uh, such difficult roads to get to where we are that I thought like it, it just seems like magic. And so when I wrote in my book, I said like, it makes me sad that that, that, that will most likely never happen. And then now we here, yeah. here we are in 2021 and it's a real possibility. And uh, I had heard him say in an interview uh, recently 
that I hadn't even thought of, but I thought like, man, it's not just me against CM Punk. It's me teaming with CM Punk against like, he, he had said something about maybe me and him against the Young Bucks. And I was like, oh, my God, that would be awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, well, the opportunities certainly are endless, it seems. Yeah, for sure. All right, well, it, it looks like you're going to get your moment with CM Punk. And we wish you the best of luck tonight as you make your debut at AEW's Grand Slam, reminating live from Arthur Ashe Stadium tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern. So good luck to you, and thank you so much for joining Sports Nation. Very good to see you again. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.